a pretty important part at the very pointy end of the national draft on November 24 is Collingwood. Nick Dacos, their father-son pick, is their man. And they've got pick 27 and 36. David King, you've got the Pies portfolio. Where are you going to take us? Well, it's a rebuild or a reset, whatever you want to call it. And it's a little bit like the Hawthorne discussion we had before, Joey, that, you know, how quickly can you get 60 games into, this ki into these kids? You know, last year they get Henry, McRae, McGuinness, Poulter, McMahon. You know, five picks inside 31. So it's already started. They've, they've jumped the gun on on this time. Nick Dacos comes in, as you said, and he's the one that they really need to, to become a, an absolute star for this midfield to go. But the, the problem for Craig McRae is they're still really well stocked for talent. You look at the guys that are 29-plus, Majacek, Sidebottom, Howe, Penderbury. So they're good senior mm. core leaders that, that actually lead the way admirably. And then you've got guys that are bracketed between 25 and 28 next year in Maynard, Degoe, Moore, Grundy and Adams and Crisp. So they're a solid core. They could win a lot of games of home and away football next year, which in effect kills your draft stocks. But it really sets up well to, to show these younger kids what's required at top AFL level. I think that the forward target is still the missing piece on this list. It always is the hardest part to fit for, your, for the end of your rebuild. It's not a discussion for this year or probably next. Uh, it's a couple of years away. But I just want to see who C Craig McRae gives the premium roles to in this next 12 to 18 months. Is it the midfield going in, the young kids that are you know, 15 to 20 games in, or in fact, first year of football in. But it's time to settle this, this football club down, the whole club, and just say, OK, let's enjoy the reset period. We may make some moves at the end of next year. We may lose some players. They may lose some free agents. They may, you know, trade them. They may get scooped the pool for those guys. So next year is a big end of season for them, and that'll have a major bearing on what their window looks like. But I think they're, they're marginally in front of the Adelaide Crows in terms of their rebuild, and Collingwood fans don't like like hearing that, but if they're going to have a sustained five, six year window to win one, two, three premierships down the path, then I think it's three to four years away. Will I get the number one draft pick in Jeff Brown as the president? <laughs> Tom, you've been all over this breaking stories left, right and centre. It would have just seemed a fait accompli that he becomes the president. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a lock. And, um, and from there, it's about having balance, as David King says, both off the field and on the field. For the last six months on the field, really since Nathan Buckley departed, they've actually been pretty balanced. They've had a, a very thorough search for a new coach. The question I have for you, Joey, about the Magpies is David King spoke before about a coach that comes in and they often don't get past the first or second contract because they've had to endure so many losses. Will Craig McRae get to 2026 if they have a few years down the bottom of the ladder? Well, I hope so. I hope so. And I hope they're, they're pragmatic and realistic with where they're at. I think they are in a rebuild for a number of years. I think they've got a long way to go because they've got to phase out their stars while they're trying to continue to acquire some draft talent. We know they're going to get day cost this year, but that's really about it because they're yeah. using up all their points. So they're not getting in a cluster of three or four picks on top of last year's. I still think they're a work in progress. No grand predictions here, but Darcy Moore, Braden Maynard, Jeremy Howe and the best defensive coach in it in Justin Lepich, they're going to have a heck of a lot of fun yeah. with those three players who are all outstanding and hopefully they all get full seasons.